Hello guys and welcome to another podcast on Boomland's new game, Hunters Unchained. Today we will be talking about the borrowing and lending of hunters. You might wonder how that works. Well, let's say you have a hunter now and you would like to lend it out to someone. And the other person who wants to borrow that hunter has no NFT. Or maybe they would like to try this particular particular hunter legendary maybe you know and you would like to play this legendary hunter but you don't have it you don't own it and you do not have the funds yet to purchase a legendary nft well you can borrow one from someone who is willing to put it on the market for borrowing so players will be able to borrow or lend their hunters on a daily, weekly or monthly basis in exchange for a fixed fee and pre-agreed revenue share from the total rewards earned with that hunter. So that is pretty good because you can decide if you own a hunter, how long you want to borrow it to someone else, what fixed fee you expect or a pre-agreed revenue share. This feature provides both a passive income for hunter owners and a lower barrier to entry to players that did not get a chance yet to purchase a hunter from either the GAOs or the marketplace. Now, let's give you an example. Let's say player A wants to start playing Hunters on Chain but does not have the initial capital to purchase their own hunter. Player A gets into the borrow screen where they can view different types of hunters being available to borrow for three game sessions. Player A picks player B's archer, which was already put on the market by player B with a payback percentage of 65%. Player B, owning 5 hunters but only playing with 1, enables borrowing on their account and put their desired amount of percent, in this case 65%. There will be no minimum percentage revenue share to the to the owner of the hunter of 55% and a maximum of 90%. So as Archer is a hunter NFT level 3, it has more in-game performance. Thus player B thinks 65% of earnings by the lender is fair. Player A now borrowed the Archer from player B and 35% of proceedings player A makes with Archer will be going to player A's wallet. The other part going to the actual owner, in this case player B. Both players get B gems from the reserve. When player A picks the Archer and clicks on play, the system will check the next arena in line, which belongs to player C. So the borrowing and lending system is great for scholarships and for scholars as well. It will bring a social impact and that is great because Boomland is all because Boomland would like to make a social impact for players as well. And the scholarship system is great for scholars, okay, because it's huge, it's very big. Every game out there must have these scholarship features, or if they haven't yet, they would like to implement the scholarship feature, the borrowing lending uh, feature into their game. But sometimes it's so complicated, and especially with games where you as an investor have to make these separate accounts and it's very complicated and then these investors you know kind of back out because it's like too complicated and boomland is going to make it so much more easier for investors who are looking for passive income or maybe you have so many hunters in your wallet and you think like okay maybe for a maybe short period of time i'm not able to play all these hunters And I would like to lend it out to someone else and someone can, you know, earn a little bit of this and um, you will uh, earn some passive income 
you're happy as the investor scholar happy because most of the scholars are students who are playing the game and they uh, can uh, pay their tuition or their college fee their college fees or you know most of them are studying especially big in southeast asia and common to have these scholarship programs and they are offered what is nice about it as well is that um, it brings a social impact and it will be so easy to set up guys because now you know boomland is very very focused on making a very easy user experience and easy wallet solutions to set up for you so you don't have to go through all these 20 steps like all the other games you know and like i mentioned when you are an investor and you purchase all these nfts you have to create all these different wallets you know accounts and then give access to those accounts with boomland it's easy click 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 and done easy so no complicated additional work and all that you have to do before you can give uh, an account to a scholar and it's also easier for scholars because when you are seeking scholarships or you're seeking for a hunter to play with and you do not have the funds to uh, purchase your first hunter yet it's easy for you as well because you can see and check on the marketplace which hunters are available for borrowing because sometimes you know i have these games that i'm playing and i have these nfts and i can't play them all at once or i might have a few busy days coming up i would like to uh, you know uh, lend it out to someone else but i have to give access to my account because most of these games have no you know easy uh, safe wallet solutions in place where you don't have to give this sensitive information to someone else and there are many games out there where you have to uh, you know give access to your account by even if it's by passcode or one time otp you know so it's very great that boomland has created this very easy borrowing and lending system boomland is very good and great in making sure that they have thought about this solution and um, implemented a very easy to use borrowing and lending system now the borrowing and lending system of course will be available but we don't know yet how it's going to look like i haven't seen it yet and i i would love to see it now guys that was it for today of course we have a twitter page follow us on twitter you will see our latest announcements there of, of course our youtube channel is out there as well if you want to see our latest amas please go to the youtube channel subscribe like and of course you can go to our telegram group become a member there and in our discord server now that was it for today guys thank you so very much for listening and see you next time